Okay, welcome back to Logic 9 tutorial. Uh, we're recording vocals over uh, Audio Slave Show Me How to Live by Fioretti, a uh, very talented guy on iCompositions.com. Uh, right now, we, are, we have gotten the singer uh, to sing his little heart out and try to imitate Chris Cornell. Of course, that's pretty much impossible, but uh, I'm sure there's probably about 30,000 people out there that could do it better. But anyway, uh, here is this singer's stab at it. And uh, what we're going to do, we've got all the parts recorded. What we've done is we've gone in, and how we recorded each part is we'll go in and we'll drag drag a section around the part well and then we'll start recording and then once we're recorded we'll go on to the next part which we will put a repeat or loop section around that part and uh, we'll get the singer to play that part like this see and in the early dawn moving right along couldn't buy so then the singer, uh, you know, does his little thing, and uh, now we've come at, uh, to a point where we've got all the uh, verses and choruses in order, and we've got kind of what we want uh, the singer. We've recorded him as best as we could, and we fixed him in uh, Isotope, uh, because the way that I recorded, I don't know why, but... Uh, Maybe somebody can tell me this, why I have all this crackling bacon during the vocals. I'm not that, uh, you know, cool to figure that out. Don't know why. Maybe it's maybe it's because the tubes that are in the, the uh, microphone I'm using are uh, going out. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway. So now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to decide on levels. Uh, we're going to decide, we're going to look right here at the output meter and we're gonna play some of this and we're gonna decide what kind of levels we want for the vocals and the band so let me go ahead and and play that oh by the way uh, what I've what I've done is I've gone through here to the samples and what you do is you can double click on the sample and that will bring up this thing called the sample editor and uh, you can play the sample, which will play the uh, actual track just by itself without any of the accompanying uh, stuff in the mix board. And you can focus in on um, getting all the undesired sounds out. What I do is I'll go in and I'll highlight. Everything's highlighted at first by default, but then you can highlight a section like this, and you can play it. And if you don't like what you're hearing in that section, what I do, and this is the only thing I do here, is I silence it. I use functions, silence. And that cuts out a lot of the chatter and uh, in-between undesired uh, noises. Uh, anyway. We'll get on to uh, mixing this in just a second uh, for my next video. Thanks.